Joining us now, Pennsylvania Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman. Lieutenant Governor, do you know, we've been getting updates as of last night, but as of this morning, at this point, how many votes are outstanding there? Well, I, I mean, several hundred thousand of them, and it's generally accepted that it's going to be enough that would probably deliver our Commonwealth to the vice president at this point, based on previous modeling of how those ballots have been performing with respect to whether it's for the vice president or the president. Well, no one's going to want to make a final call based on modeling or assumptions. Yeah. Do you have sure. a timeline about when we're actually going to get the real numbers? Well, I, I'm certainly not going to get out in front of the, our Secretary of State. And if she said it could be sometime this evening, I, I let's put it this way. I have seen no reason not to think that's true. Allegheny County, I believe, is, is done. Montgomery County is done. Those are the, the second and third largest counties, respectively. I know Luzerne is ahead of schedule. I know Philadelphia. I mean, you watch Philadelphia is there on the screen. They're, we're, they're crushing through it. Um, and there might be pockets here and there, like in some of the counties that didn't start canvassing until yesterday at eight o'clock in the morning. So, but uh, yeah, it's things are are drawing to a close. I mean, that's for sure in terms of uh, canvassing here in Pennsylvania. Any problems you've seen so far? Irregularities? Yeah, you, you have uh, you have the Trump campaign showing up on a corner in Philadelphia. Uh, like some sad carnival barker making outlandish claims. Oh, that's the only problem. Otherwise, um, you have a, 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 the largest election in Pennsylvania history just has gone off without a hitch. It's been incredibly smooth. You know, but for the chaos that the president and his campaign are trying to foment, this has been an absolutely largely flawless execution of our democratic right here in Pennsylvania to a free election. And it is going smoothly. It's going to conclude smoothly. We are going to count all the ballots, as is the law. And, you know, they can send 100, 1,000 lawyers to Pennsylvania. It's not going to change math. And right now, math is math. So even though there's a number of lawsuits, you don't believe any of them could impact the result? I, I don't, because all these votes are being counted. All these votes, I want to be clear, all these votes were received, you know, on or before 8 p.m. on Election Day. So there's no way that you could even touch them in a legal manner at this point, regardless. And we believe just those numbers of outstanding ballots, again, assuming they perform the way the others have, and we have no reason not to believe that, are going to be favorable to the vice president's chance to carry Pennsylvania. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.